The two governors accompanied by three members of parliament, James Bett, Silas Turen and Oscar Sudi from Moiben, Kesses and Capsaret constituencies respectively, led residents to the university. They gathered some members of staff to whom they made clear their demands. They want the appointment of Professor Laban Ayiro revoked and the university council to reinstate the outgoing vice-chancellor Richard Mibe in an acting capacity until the issue is sorted. According to them, Matiangi's appointment of Professor Ayiro is ill-advised, claiming he was denying the candidate who topped during the interviews the chance to lead the institution on basis of his tribe. Wakati kwa apply yo kasi, kama ingekuwa wakalia watakikani, wangerudishe application ya gambio watakikani. Lakini alifanya interview, mumesikia alifanya interview kule Ikaton, akakuwa namba number two. Akakuja hapa, akakuwa namba number one. Kwa hivyo, hiyo kasi ya pewe, the leaders have threatened to sabotage the graduation ceremony scheduled for Friday if the appointment of a hero will not have been revoked by then. Nyinyi kila siku mnangojea DP akienda nje ndio mnafanya funny appointments. Mnataka kutupiganisha kwa hii serikali. Ati ndio isemekane Rift Valley has issues. You know the deputy president has no support in his back at Kwenteni kabisa you are moles. Our new wallet sympathizers are code kwa serikali. Ndio anataka kuharibu mambo hapo. We shall interfere with management baka washike line. Hata kanzo meeting tutakujanga kugeti huko kama mzee amita kusikiza. Tutaki watu wanafanya mchezo hapa. The National Cohesion and Integration Commission has condemned the governor's action saying it was polarizing the country. NCIC has dispatched a team to Eldoret to investigate the matter. And if it is a crime that is outside the purview of NCIC, we will definitely liaise with, uh, with other relevant government authorities to take appropriate action. Kaparo says graduation at the university will proceed as planned. Daniel Mule, NTV.